Hi there. Thanks for joining me. Uh, obviously you're interested in some of the difference between a Fender and a Gibson guitar. Specifically, I'll be talking about a Strat style guitar. This isn't a Fender, I know, but it's, it's pretty close. And uh, I have a, a Les Paul that I'll, I'll show you. Um, a bit of my background, I learned to play guitar on a, on a Strat style guitar and I played acoustic guitar for a number of years. Not so much electric, but I recently got back into it and was able to uh, rent a, a Les Paul. Just wanted to see what the differences were and uh, you know, see if, if I would like it. Um, now being accustomed to a, to a Strat, um, and my acoustic guitar is, is fairly similar, um, I, uh, you know, your hands tend to go to certain places and do certain things when you play guitar, you get, you get accustomed to that. And I often would uh, you know, anchor my, my arm or my, my wrist and my hand on the, on the body or on, on the bridge as I would play. And, um, and I was just used to that. And I noticed when I picked up the Les Paul and I put my hand down on it, well, it was, I was, ended up in a position that really wasn't suitable for playing. And, uh, you know, I, I found it kind of uncomfortable and awkward at first. It just took some getting used to. Um, and uh, I didn't know at the time but the scale length of a Gibson is actually three quarters of an inch shorter than it is on a, on a Strat style guitar. And, and that was enough dis distance to uh, kind of throw off my, my pick hand uh, to, to not quite know what to do. The, the other thing that you'll notice is that on, the, on a Strat style guitar, the, the neck and the body are on the same plane, but on the Gibson, the body kind of comes at a different angle and the, the bridge makes up some of that height here. So there's a lot more real estate between the string and the body um, back where I would normally put my hand and I found that a little bit uh, awkward too, just took some getting used to. Uh, one of the benefits of the shorter scale length though is that the strings are a lot, a lot easier to bend um, and it felt a little bit faster than uh, then the, the strat, the, 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 the frets are a little bit closer, which I actually found for me was a, a not such a good thing. I have a little bit, they're not fat fingers, but they're a bit longer. And uh, I'm used to playing um, finger style a lot, so I found that the neck was maybe not as wide as I would have uh, preferred for that. But overall, um, it's a really enjoyable guitar. I love the finish on it, the, the satin, the feel of the neck and, and uh, just kind of the no frills, that's kind of my style. Um, it, the other thing I noticed that it's, it's quite a bit heavier, so there's a lot more wood in a Les Paul than, than in a Strat, but it's, it was, uh, a, it's a very comfortable guitar to play. Uh, and it's been really enjoyable to pretend that uh, I'm Slash or something for the last month. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. But uh, I'll spare you the hot licks, there's, there's enough of uh, there's enough videos of people showing off their shredding skills on YouTube. You could find lots of those, but I just wanted to give you a couple of bits of useful information that, that maybe I know I hadn't uh, known about or considered when I was looking through the music store and, and maybe they, those would be things that would uh, influence your decision. Um, but at least to, to know some of these details as you go into it. And there's lots of videos too on YouTube about how how the guitars sound with humbuckers or single coils or, or whatever you can you can find those things as well but uh, happy uh, hunting as you go looking for the guitar of your dreams and uh, I got, hopefully I gave you some uh, useful information glad I could be a part of it thanks